tonight on the Zoltan pot tonight on Zoltan's podcast. There we go. Um, I'm 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 on. <sighs> I got stuck. <coughs> I'm sick. And guess what? <sighs> this is gonna be a weird. This is gonna, not gonna be a regular podcast. Mainly because of the fact that this is more of an interview. I got asked to be interviewed because, you know, people are curious. I'll be honest here. It's weird. Okay. So. Play the music. Well, hello everyone, Zoltan. Well, well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Zoltan's podcast. As you can see, I'm still using the Austin microphone. And oh my god, this is going to be a very different Zoltan's podcast. Obviously, <coughs> <coughs> um, I was asked to answer a few interview questions. And I was very happy to do that. It, whoa, okay. Um, sorry about that. Um, yes, I will answer those questions. So, why not we... Wait, let me adjust my camera a little bit. That's a little bit better. Okay, so why not we get right into this, okay? Okay. So the first question is, when and why did you start playing? When, um, I started playing back when I was about seven, eight, or nine. And mainly because of the fact that I was under the influence of my father and I was very, very, very interested in doing that kind of stuff um it's it's very weird being a musician but then again the if so long as you know what you're doing and you know the feel that you're going for and you know what genre and you know what instrument that you're going to play it's all good <coughs> right next question which instruments do you play um, as many know, I'm, I play drums, um, I've also been known to play guitar, I can play some bass, and right now my dad is teaching me how to become a classical pianist, which is actually really, really cool, so, yeah, there you go. What is the first tone you learned? Wait, what was the first tune you learned? Oh... Uh, this is this is weird for like as in a song as in a song I think is what they think is what they're saying but um the first song that I ever learned was actually um what is it called horse with no name by America that was the first song I actually ever learned how to play that was on guitar and the first song that I ever learned how to play on keyboards was probably Afterglow by Genesis, actually. Um, yeah. Is, okay, number four. Is your family musical? Yes, my father is very musically talented. My mother has a musical taste. That's about all I can say. Number five, describe your family members' musical interests and abilities. My father, like I said before, he is teaching me how to become a classical pianist. He himself is a classical pianist. Um, and it's very, very, very fun. Um, the discipline that you have to put into that kind of stuff, though, is, is a little bit rough. But then again, it's also understandable, right? So... We like the 
Genesis. We like Genesis a lot. Um, we like all that kind of stuff. It's it's rather it's all that kind of stuff because it's it that's the kind of stuff we strive to sound like something like Camel or s our own stuff mainly. But yeah, thank you. Um, number six. Which famous musician musicians do you admire and why? Probably Tony Banks, Mike Rutherford, Phil Collins, and Peter Gabriel. So, oh, and Steve Hackett. So everyone from Genesis because they are all fantastic musicians, no doubt about it. Which famous musicians have you learned from? Same, same as the other question, number six. Who was your first music teacher? Oh man, I don't remember this one. I don't remember his name. <coughs> All I know is that I was not the best student. Describe your first instrument. My first instrument was a steel string electric that had lightning bolts all over it. I was eight, and I was living in a small apartment building, but yeah, that's how, that's what it was. What are your fondest musical memories in your house, in your neighborhood, or town? I don't know. That's that's a question I'm not very f um, sure about. <coughs> Number 11. Were you influenced by old records and tapes? Which ones? Like I said, the um, Genesis and Pink Pink Floyd. Oh my God, Pink Floyd. Okay. Okay, number twelve. Your favorite musicians, groups, CDs. Probably my favorite. Well, my favorite band is Genesis. My favorite solo artist is Steven Wilson. Favorite. Well, yeah, that's that's it. It's my favorite album I'm not 100% sure actually I have so many that are just there that I could just say so many good things about um, have you been in any competitions no I have never been in a competition ever before never once and I never really had any interest in doing any of that stuff mainly because of the fact that I was always shy, but then again, I also thought that, what was the point, right? So I never really participated in that stuff. Number 14, do you perform in public? Describe those occasions, concert, radio, TV. No, I do not. So that's, that's out of the question. <coughs> Do you play for dances, step dancers? Describe the differences. I don't know, so no. 16. How do you handle mistakes during a performance? I've never been on performance, so I don't know yet. 17. Do you get nervous before a performance or a competition? Nope, because I've never been in one. 18. What advice would you give to beginners who are nervous? Ooh. Strive. Try to break that fear, for one. And then when you do, build some confidence. You have to make sure that you have a feeling that it is right. If you think that what you are doing is is good to you, do it. That's all I have. Uh, number 19. Do you attend sessions? What makes a good session? I've never attended a session. Oh, wait. Like a recording. Ah, I was in the studio a couple of mo a month or two ago, and I was recording drums for a jazz song that we have coming out on the new album Antediluvian Euphonies by Benjamin's Kite that is coming out 
in May or something in 2018. And yeah, I do. What makes a good session? Trying your best, for sure. And making sure that you have MIDI. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Number 20. How often and how and for how long do you practice? I practice a good bit on drums. I've been doing keyboards a lot at school. So that's been that's been something. If you know what I'm talking about. Um, what do you practice? Exercises, new tunes, hard tunes, etc. I do a lot of scales on guitar and keyboard. I do rudiments on drums and some scales on bass or just some different techniques and a lot of songs on keyboard. I try to do that as much. Do you teach music? No. Do you balance your music with other obligations Mate, children, job. I don't have any of those. So. Okay. That was really fun. I really enjoyed um, talking about that. Now, it's time to get serious. <coughs> it's time to get real serious wait wait it's time to get serious oh, wow that smells it smells a lot that smells a lot oh, sniff that and that's probably not good for my lungs um for those of you that do not know I um screwed up my leg so, I will not be practicing drums for a wee bit because of the fact that my leg is screwed up. I pulled, I probably pulled my tendon pretty bad, and I don't know, but. Okay, but I really did enjoy that. That was a little bit of a different Zoltan's podcast, and I'm sorry about that. Um, the next one will definitely be much, much different. I just wanted to do... One of these because I know that it's overdue. And I wanted to do one with this microphone. And I just feel like the one was over overdue. I feel like this was far overdue. I was supposed to do one last weekend, but I never got the time to dedicate towards it. So I felt really shitty about that. Oh, well, this is number two. And I will probably do another one this weekend, probably on Sunday, and it will probably be released on Sunday or Monday, but I am definitely going to record another one this weekend to make up for this kind of interview one that I'm not very proud of, but it's definitely going to stay. This is how it's going to work, and yeah, this is so short. I'm so sorry, but... In terms of what we're going to do now, I am going to read some comments. Okay, let me do that. Okay, so, currently, this microphone 
is set to a really heavy gain setting. Probably around um, 70 or something. But I cannot talk too loud or else I will destroy your earbuds. I will destroy your ears. And for the love of God, I do not want to do that. So, I gotta be very, very quiet. And you can probably hear a lot of um, fuzz. Like outside stuff. So, I'm gonna be very, very quiet now. Smile six. You weird bean. That's me. You weird bean. Trust me, I'm a weird bean. So shh. Quiet. So suggest what video editors you use and maybe how you use them. I might do something like that, I'm not sure. <coughs> Sorry about that. Hope your ears are okay. If you want to be in the next Sultan's podcast, all you have to do is comment on this one, and then I will read your comments for real. Okay, I'm going to turn this down now. Sound good? Sounds great to me. That was loud. That was really loud. That was loud. That was loud. Um, that was really loud. And you're still picking up a lot of my fan back in, in the background, but that's only because it's the fan, right? Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry for your ears. But I will not say sorry for what I'm going to do now because I have to go. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, please leave a like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next podcast. Peace.